Cade McNamara versus Stetson Bennett. Take your pick. Who plays better? Harry, you go first, Ooh, for, man. For me, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Cade McNamara. Just the simple fact this year when Michigan, I understand they run football team first, but when they have asked Cade McNamara to be a passer this year, he's been efficient doing so. You look at what he did uh, this entire football season. He's been consistent. Uh, he hasn't had those blemish plays. And then you look at Stetson Bennett. I know Stetson Bennett this year. I think he's second in um, yards per attempt at 10.1. He's fourth in the, in the nation in QBR. But I just look at a, a certain a certain thing. When they played against Alabama in the SEC championship game and they got behind, Stetson Bennett could not lead his football team back. That's why he needed his run game to support him in this game on Friday. But if I had to pick between the two quarterbacks and if it had to come to a shootout, I am going to choose Cade McNamara over Stetson Bennett. I'm going with Cade McNamara as well. He's just been steadier this year. I know Ben has been fine, but as we know, people get some angst over the mailman. Some people want him to be benched by Georgia. I feel like that was one of the that there was a chorus of people wishing for that during the SEC championship game. McNamara, by the way, or meanwhile, has been playing his best football down the stretch. He was great against Ohio State. He was great against Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game as well. In Iowa, excuse me, the Big Ten championship game as well. All right, that's Capital One Orange Bowl. Harry will be there. Then we got the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. That's first. We got the Heisman Trophy winner, Bryce Young, against Desmond Ritter, who might be the first quarterback selected in the NFL draft. So take your pick. Who plays better? Oh, for me, I'm going with the Heisman Trophy winner, the greatest quarterback that Nick Saban has ever had in his coaching career, Bryce Young, a guy who has over 43 yards passing, I mean, excuse me, over 4,300 yards passing, 43 touchdowns, just only four interceptions. I love his demeanor. I love how cool, calm, and collected he is. You, have you ever interviewed him? Y'all should try interviewing him. He's going to kill that as well. But he can improvise. He can do it with his legs. He can do it with his arms. He's always poised. Desmond Ritter, I think Desmond Ritter has to be great in this game for Cincinnati to even have a chance. Desmond Ritter is going to have to do it passing the ball. Uh, he, he's misconnected this year. He hasn't always been e e as efficient as he should have been, but he has to do it with his legs as well. But I'm going with the Heisman Trophy winner, Bryce Young. I'm going to go with Bryce Young as well. But my favorite part of Harry's answer was, have you ever interviewed him? You should try it. As if, like, I just have access to the Heisman Trophy <laughs> winners. Not all of us are Harry Douglas, okay? Just not what, how it works around here. But the answer has to be Bryce Young. He has been his best down the stretch as well, like Cade McNamara. He had a great game-winning drive in the Iron Bowl in overtime. He helped them tie that game late. He's been remarkable. He's not even draft eligible this year. People are already wondering whether he could be a top pick in 2023. Give me Bryce Young. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.